looking out here in ET now, East Texas, y'all. It is a blooming big time. Everything's green. I think we're going to have to send it on some bass fishing adventures out here for the next few days just because when you start seeing that, you know the bass, they are just, they are up there doing it. Interesting fact, did you know that turkeys pretty much will gobble at any kind of noise? If you're coming off the roost, you shut your car door, give them a honk, give them a little hee hee, and they'll just gobble back at you, just cause. Welcome back to the tailgate, everybody, and the channel, and the BK Ranch. That's where I'm at right now, y'all. Uh, today is a little, it's an interesting day. You know, I got, I got, I got word that there was a charity event out here at the BK Ranch. Just decided to come check it out. There's a lot of ponds out here subsequently, though, that uh, need to be dangled. And specifically, there is a, a dedicated crappie bluegill pond uh, that I've I've heard about that uh, doesn't get touched a whole lot and could be I have to have some just monster crappies in it and every species every time of year is a different thing to figure out and crappie in the spring is another thing to figure out you know you guys can come out here and fish if you want to I know some of you that that have and caught big fish but also they have beef they have the beef not just <laughs> regular beef they have uh, very good wagyu style beef uh delicious delicious cows that uh you know it's a, it's an expensive beef but a very fatty delicious marbleization cow uh so they raise those out here and they have the big bass they have a nice facility and they're having all these events out here as well just to help people out because they're they're great people i watched gary's speech uh at his induction at the bass hall of fame uh, I, was, I was able to see that last year, or two years ago, and I don't think he talked about himself at all. All he talked about was all of his employees and his, his family and uh, just how great everyone else was. He's just a very humble guy. So anyway, great human being. And plus he's got these, these great ponds. Wagyu! Yeah, you don't even know. You don't even know. Little rig. You wanna go dangle? All right, come on. You can, <laughs> you can carry it. I'll hold the hook. All right. Up. Oh, yeah. Watch the tip. <sighs> All right. Avery's going off to catch her first fish, first bluegill, y'all. You can check it out on. Uh, I don't know what channel it's gonna be on. Might might be on the uh, their new family channel. But anyways, uh, we get Avery Avery rigged up with a little pink jig head. Actually, one that you guys sent in. A little pink jig head right there and. Uh, some crappie nibbles, y'all. So you just you just never know when the crappie you might need some crappie stuff. Circle of life here at the BK Ranch. Got some great fertilization of the waters, making some good grasses. These fisheries are managed here. There's multiple ponds. There's bass that have that are spawning, that have already spawned. They've got massive bluegill out here and massive crappies. And I know some of these crappies got to be on the spawn. I've got a golden opportunity here to get, maybe get a PB crappie. The thing is, the thing I'm trying to learn is like, where do they spawn? And I would think they would like a hard bottom as well, like the bass, a nice protected cove. A little eighth ounce road runner with the uh, LFT uh, lure sickle tail micro shad. I think that's what it's called, but We'll walk around the bank here, see what we can stir up. Oh yeah, baby, dock dangling. Look at all these fry, dude. Lots of fry here too. Up in the fry. Oh gosh, I think there's a lot of fry in here. This crappie might be done. Okay, crappie, y'all. They like, they like them some reeds. They do like to spawn up around reeds. I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh shoot now. Yeah, it's a bass though. Daggum. Okay, that was a large mouth. Oh, oh gosh, we just had another one. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just getting a couple bites from there. 
All right, y'all, we got ourselves a party tune here. Ready to dangle. It, this is uh, the Dangle Express. Get that, get that trolling motor down for me so we don't... This is the Dangle. Avery, it's your first time on a boat. Are you excited? Look, you're floating. Is it going? Is I it hope turned so. on? Is it turned on? No, is it turned on? No! Okay, there's a... There we go. There we go. Hey, yeah, we're going to turn that down and... Okay, it's just straight on. <laughs> we are just stuck on right now. I don't know what is happening. Um, this should be interesting. This is interesting. Okay. I'm confused. Does it turn? Yeah, it turns. It's just momentary on is what it should be, right? And then here's the power. But it just, there's no cutoff. It, the pedal's stuck. There it goes. Maybe? No, it's locked now. Yep, no, okay. Let's, yep. Just the motor guide that's... It's a, it's a motor guide is the issue. Uh, well, here's the... Uh, <laughs> it has no medium. <laughs> it's just straight high bypass. That's fine. So we fried a circuit on the motor mi uh, midget here, and uh, now we're just in full-blown high-speed So mode. I just go like this? Yep. Can I turn it, though? Yeah, 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 you can turn it. Don't turn it too hard oh. now. Don't want to whip us around. <laughs> Good family times. Can you imagine the Guggen tune? What that would be like? The Guggen tune. The Guggen tune. Remember that time we drug Steven behind a boat? Don't worry, Dad's gonna lose his mind now. <laughs> Troll motor that doesn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, there goes one. Oh baby, yeah. We're... Okay, hold on, Dad. Dad's really got a lot going on here. This is not like a, this is not a normal contraption we got here. There's a stump. Easy, what? easy. Don't oh. even, don't even hit it. Don't even hit it. Oh, Brace yourselves. Now you got it. You're reeling. Oh, there we go. Crappie on. Oh, no, it's a bass. No, it's a big crappie. No, it's a bass. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, boy. Oh my gosh, I lost him. There you go. I thought it was a big crappie first. It scared me. A little bit of oomph on it. Oh, I got something. I got Oh, we came off. Dude, it felt good. Oh, got him. Got him. Hooked up. Hooked up on something. Avery's got a fish. Could be a bluegie. What is it? What is it? Looks like a monster bluegie. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that fatty. That's a pretty fish, Avery. That's a big one. That's a pretty fish. Wow. And there's three hooks in that little mouth. <laughs> Anybody got some pliers? We got crappies and some bluegills. Wow, that is a purdy one there now. Absolute purdy one. Avery, you want to give it a kiss? Avery. You want to kiss it? Well, Not yet? Okay. <laughs> um, Something big just moved underneath. Yeah, what, what are we going to do if we hook into like an actual large bass? I don't know. Ray. Got no trolling motor control. I don't know, but I just farted. I think we have to really turn on his engine here, like right now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got another one. You got him? Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that's a bass. Is it big? Uh, oh. Where are you at? Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, Dude! <laughs> I couldn't move it. It was stuck there. You know, throw you on a number one mats <laughs> or a little crappie spinner and something will get on, you know? Tell me you got another one. No. No, no, not even close. I'm, I'm hooked on a, uh, a lily pad. Uh, yeah. Oh, got one, got one. Crappie? Large mouth, large mouth. Oh, I had another one chase it. You did? I had one By the stump. Time. Huge stump here. Largey going in the stump. Oh. Come here, baby. Yo, got you on that Guggen mile now. Well, y'all, little Meps, getting her done. Got some other bites on this flat too. This is wow, this is, this is just this fun. Is scary flat right here. Don't know what you're gonna catch. Probably should, uh... Monster crappies. All right. Oh, got something. Crappie, crappie Bobby. time! No, it's a bluegill. Oh, bluegill. Big beautiful bluegill. Dang it! I thought it was a crappie at first. I need to give me one of them on, dude. Dude, I got two more. I need to get one of them on. The rooster tails, man. I could feel more hitting it. 
Oh, oh, what is it? Avery, you want to reel it in? Avery, reel it in. Oh, that's a purdy one. That's a purdy one. There you go. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Yeah. Look what you got. Look at that purdy one there. I think you smell good. See you later. We just had ourselves some delicious Texas barbecue up at the BK Lodge and Inn. Hanging out with a couple of the families here at the, this is, this organization is called United Heroes. So what they do is they, they it's a charity, they basically fund military uh, families, but it's all about the kids. United Heroes, that is the organization, and there, there are some fishing freaks in the group, so you know they're good peeps. And one of them told me that they caught a over two pound black crappie. I gotta come back here another time, I'm sure I will. As a, as a father of a daughter, I also understand uh, there comes a point in time uh, during the day where it's it's time for a nap. Uh, it's just time. It's just time to move on. Fishing is over for the day, and I have got to get back to my wife and daughter. You know, Miss OSG and Emmy. Made it back to the treehouse. How we doing, little girl? How we doing, little girl? How's that starfish doing? <laughs> you look just like that starfish. Look at your eyeballs. <laughs> Hey, you look just like it. All right, Amy, I got a question for you. <laughs> you're, you're like ready for the, you are ready for the camera, my gosh. Amy, how old do you think you're gonna be when you catch your first fish? Okay, give me a, give me a response for two years old. Just give me something. You're not sure when you're gonna get your dangle on. Well, you're already getting a little practice here with your with your fish. I know you. I, I know you thoroughly enjoy putting your uh, little soft, chewy gums on the ye little yellow fish there. The little starfish that kind of doesn't really count for a fish. But Avery, she's three years old and she caught her first fish. So you know you got you got some work to do. All right, got to get the motor skills ready. Don't worry, Dad. Dad's gonna have you prepped. Don't worry, Amy. You're, you're gonna be eating your first white bass pretty soon. Uh -huh. I guarantee you, mom's eating some, so you've already got some in your system. Speaking of dads taking kids fishing, LFD, uh, he has been gracious enough to bring over some cedar trees <laughs> for the yard. You, you don't want me to leave? Take our little tree down to our hole. So this is kind of gross, but I've got this septic tank uphill and the, uh, the overflow pipe that runs downhill kind of settles around where I am right now. And it's, it's always marshy and it is just fertile. The grass is super green. Uh, this is where the hogs always come through. They're getting grubs and stuff. The ground's super aerated. Honestly, could probably go cy a cypress tree pretty good. But we've got some cedars. Dad had some extra ones, so I'm gonna plant them here. This is like one of the only places that doesn't have trees. It's super fertile. I figured why not? Got a little extra nutrients going down there, if you know what I'm saying. The peachy sun is going down on this beautiful day. Oh, check out this new bird feeder I got y'all. Cardinal's been loving that sucker. Just spring life is springing up. And check out my cedars. Young cedars, gonna come to life. It's getting start so dark out here now. So hopefully when Emmy's like 10 years old, they'll be nice and beautiful and you know, really add something to the yard. But till then, they're pretty much just little twigs. Before I let you go, I just wanna say shout out to the BK Ranch. They're doing great things over there. They're growing delicious beef. They have amazing lake management with huge bass, huge bluegills, obviously, as you saw today and Big Crappie, which I did not get today, but I will be back. And if you guys wanna go check that out, I'll leave a link down below where you can go check out BK Ranch for yourself. And also, you know, they're supporting good causes like they just did today and they continue to do. So just good people over there. Don't forget to subscribe right here to the channel because we are about to do some serious dangling uh, coming in the next few videos. I've got an exciting announcement to make also uh, next week, uh, so, something that I've been want to do for a while and uh, involves you guys as well. So stay tuned for that. Hit the ding dongs for all the notifications and I will see you.